She's not acting by design, is she? But I am not. But with respect to any other human characteristic, I do not imagine that much has been unfolded. By all that I have ever read, I'm convinced that it's very complicated. No, you are serious. I have been questioning for some time. Certainly. Yes, because she asked him at last, and he could not help. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of water. But it is not sound. You know it is not sound. Your conjecture is totally wrong. I assure you. I have suspected it for some time, but now I am convinced. I have already told her so once by your desire. Are you quite sure, sir? Is there not a little mistake? A fragment of amber. Indeed. No, if you are serious. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the Assembly for it to become French. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. But why spread it over two phases? Why not announce the overall project immediately? Unfortunately, if Spain were to hear that the intention of all this is to allow the United States to grow, they would never sign. Manuel Godoy is perfectly aware of President Washington's appetite. If the United States took Louisiana, Godoy would know full well that he will have lost the entire North American continent. Things must take place in several stages. Otherwise, the change will be too brutal, and he will have no choice but to reject the project. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You didn't know about everything. This project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. My friends, I propose we get started. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, 
I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur I de hope Richet. he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other, more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer. I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? But I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protégé. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Am I imagining things, or... Does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will say that Emily nie preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. I 
I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are grave times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Holm, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? At the risk of displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No. Let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? I know about his plan. What did you just say, Louis? His aim is for the United States to take the whole of the North American continent. But that is impossible! A democratic superpower. I don't understand. That has nothing to do with the coming vote. You will ask for France to take over Louisiana, and then hand it over to the United States, and so double the size of their territory. Once that's done, he will just need to push a bit more, and you will lose North America, Duke Manuel. God's blood! Has he gone mad? No, Johan. He has always been mad. <sighs> Louis, I would like to thank you for what you've just revealed. If not for you, I don't know if we'd have been capable of deciphering his plans quickly enough to be able to counter him. What are we going to do now that we know about it? Destroy him. No! We'll beat him at his own game, my friends. His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, War is what you'll get, and on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. What do you expect from the Papal States, Sir Gregory? What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. And me, Sir Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The Order will have to act in France. But even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis? I'd like to see you a moment, please. Thank you for signing with me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me come to Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. 
I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. I'll do my best. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Ну попробуем не обломаться в этот раз. С Вашингтоном то понятно, а вот с Перу не хотелось бы снова прострелиться. Hey, Peru's name tag's fallen off. And his door is ajar. Dear Monsieur, all right, I've retrieved everything. Так, я не помню, что ему сказал про дочь что-то. Ну это как прощальное письмо выглядит. Это, короче, как прощальное письмо выглядит. Так что про дочь ему не скажешь. Leave me, Derishe. I don't feel like talking. Are you gonna keep sticking to me like glue? Bells, I don't deserve this. There's nothing you can do for me. What's going on? Maybe I can help. Not anymore, you can't. Not against him. But thanks for the offer. Who are you talking about? You know very well. Lord Mortimer? You talk as if you're in danger, monsieur. Has he threatened you in any way? I'm done for, monsieur de Richet. I played with the devil, and I lost. Don't you think it would be good for you to shed your burden? That is my intention. You're worried. You have a secret. You're afraid of talking about it. You're protecting someone who is dear to you. And apparently, you're prepared to die for that person. Twice over. Are you afraid for your daughter? What are you? Be careful, Therese. Be very careful what you're about to say if you don't want to go flying off the balcony! What do you know about her? Nothing apart from the fact that you love her and you're saying goodbye to her. I read your letter on your desk. I... I ought to get rid of you. Perhaps I can help you. The hero syndrome. You always think you can fix things. She will be safer far away from me. That's it. What's more, no one must find out where or who she is. Is that clear? Perfectly. But why say goodbye to her? She must still need you. The only thing she needs is for him never to find her. Time is short, Louis. Follow my advice. Find your mother if she's still alive, and get out of here. Flee this damned island of doom. Are we in danger? You've been in danger since the minute you set foot on this rock. He wants you. He's sizing you up. He is circling around you. It's blindingly obvious, and you, flattered as you are, will soon be running around for him just to keep your place among his precious few. It feels so good to be accepted by him. You will experience power, wealth, glory, 
He will give it all to you, until one day you will feel so eaten up inside that you will no longer know who you are. You will find yourself void of all conscience, of all freedom, and can no longer look at yourself in the mirror without feeling sick. Refuse, I tell you. From now on, say no. No! Look, I'm sorry about what happened on the night you arrived. You're a good man, Louis. You look after yourself. As for me, I shall take back my freedom tomorrow morning. I'm through with it all. There you go. Back in the saddle. I'm glad to hear it. Come on. It's late. I'd like to get some rest. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. Короче, у меня такое впечатление, что он все равно будет застреливаться. И пес его знает, что ему сказать. Хорошо, что я прочитал это письмо в Перу. Хоть немножко ясно стало.
president's personal reserve of laudanum, and judging by the quantity, he can't go without it. Ah, there's also a letter. Mr. President, I won't beat around the bush. I came to persuade you not to follow Lord Mortimer on this one. I appreciate your forthrightness, Louis. That will save us some time. Well, since you're here, can I get you something to drink? No, no thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's nothing for you to feel bad about. So what can I do for you? President Washington, I regret that my situation is contrary to yours, especially as I really do respect you. Me too, Louis. Let us not mix business and emotion. Understood. I've just come from a meeting with Sir Gregory and his supporters. They are all rallying against Mortimer's project. That is to be expected. Great Britain, the Kingdom of Spain and Sicily, the Kingdom of Prussia, the Holy Empire, the Kingdom of Portugal, of Bohemia, and of Hungary. I know, Louis. I know. The coalition against France also gives me cause for concern. I'm certainly not saying that, on paper, Mortimer's plan seems very viable. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis. What have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? This type of meeting might be familiar to you, but for me, I must admit, Mr. President, it's all a bit over my head. It's only natural, Louis. But you are managing rather well for a first-timer. You've chosen the wrong allies, that's all. I hope my mother doesn't hold it against me if I made a mistake. Anyway, if Lord Mortimer does succeed, it would be no mean feat. Did he tell you what he would gain from it? What do you mean? Well... Mortimer's plan has been meticulously prepared for many years, I imagine. Of that you can be sure. It's only natural, and his plan leaves nothing to chance. No, that's what... He never commits his own fortune, let alone his reputation, since you're the one who takes center stage here. In fact... Whether he wins or loses, everything is arranged so that he comes out of it intact. Yes, I... Ah, you've got to hand it to him, though. He's a master at putting together a plan which puts himself at no risk. That's true. Don't worry, he... you can trust him. Of course. All buddies invested in a river transport company on the Mississippi or somewhere like that. It's true I had never thought about what he might have to gain. Tell me what Sir Gregory has to offer that I don't already have with Lord Mortimer. Mr. President, it seems that Lord Mortimer would rather see Louisiana become French and not American. Sir Gregory proposes that Louisiana go to you. What? You would be prepared to hand it over to me? It is certainly a possibility. But for that, you must not side with Mortimer at the conference. I see. Louis, you convinced me. I congratulate you for your performance, because I didn't think it could happen. I merely expose the facts to you. Don't spoil everything with your false modesty now. You really were very good, and that's that. In any case, I shall follow you on this one. This may well arouse Lord Mortimer's wrath, but I must put the United States before anything else. Have we finished, Louis? 
Absolutely, Mr. President. I shan't keep you any longer. Allow me to take my leave. Good night, Louis. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a very big day. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hey, it looks like someone slipped something in the back here. It's a letter. Let's see what it says. It reeks of perfume, and it's written in Spanish. Good boy. You really are a little devil. So, let's see what it says. It seems that the Queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Hmm. If the Queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Carmelite water. Prometheus. Punished for stealing fire from the god Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. You have to think about that one. Maria Luisa of Parma. Although not Godoy's true love, the queen is his benefactress according to some people. Charles IV of Spain. Now there's no chance of Godoy forgetting who he owes everything to. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? Emily, if you don't mind, I've had an exhausting day. I can hardly stand. Are you sending me away? No, no, not at all. But... I was thinking of going to bed, to be honest. Would there perhaps be a little space for me in your large and cold bed? Of course, Emily. I can always make room for you. Ah, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily? Can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me. Are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? I haven't had a minute to myself, what with the disappearance of Elizabeth and then the conference. Yes, I hope to continue my investigation tomorrow. Do you have any leads? No. Not really. That's the problem. Too bad. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Мне кажется, ли он говорил об исчезновении Элизабет? 
дело в том, что она померла. Странно. My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he is intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! Как будто он его призывает, и он же его и отправляет. Странная штука с этими видениями. Либо его там не было вообще. Эмили? Эмили? Да какая Are you there? Typical. There she goes again. What's with this habit of hers of taking off in the middle of the night? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Louis, the game is back on. Самое сложное. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will let panache and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you, I am. That a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, 
Remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry, but I cannot follow you this time. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. It's just too risky. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My Lord Duke this, and Madame Duchess that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, Camille! Let's end the charade. It's over! Jacques. My Lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jacques. We'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Вот пёс его знает, да? Остаться в стороне, но он сдохнет. Попробовать вмешаться ещё раз. Wait. Derise, you just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! Так, хватит. То, что помогу вам, это как играть в героя, он уже... Хватит, говорит, играть в героя. Так, это я говорил, не канает. Это... Заслуживайте большего тоже нафиг пошлет это на вас не похоже и вы никого не убьете может быть так попробовать Jack everyone's getting a little heated so let's take it easy a moment you're not going to kill anyone you're going to calmly put away your Как его спасти, то есть стрелять, колотить. Ну и пошел уже, а потом как-нибудь будет проходить. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us praise Louis' gesture, anyway. You did what you could. Yes, it was very noble of you, Louis. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Вот оно что. Здесь разница в том, что там он пристрелил. Хотя хер знает, что будет, если его спасти и вообще возможно ли это. Может быть, это невозможно. Это если в другом случае придется проходить несколько раз подряд.
Смотрим, что у нас тут. Так, вот это может попробовать сделать достижение по одному всех предметов использовать. Louis, I wanted to talk to you a moment about what has happened. All this is tragic, but I wanted to thank you for doing what you could. I wasn't able to save him. You couldn't, Louis. You mustn't blame yourself. It is not your fault. I know this has nothing to do with me, my lord, but don't you think you're partly to blame? It won't escape your attention that he incriminated you before he took his own life. I heard what he said, yes. Monsieur Peru appeared to blame me for his condition. I certainly encouraged him to succeed, but I wasn't aware he couldn't handle the pressures of the situation. Of course, his duties in Paris were very difficult. The choices he had to make were burdensome. But that was the path he had chosen. Should I not have helped him to succeed, perhaps? Did you push him into it? I wouldn't say push, but I did encourage him, yes. I thought it was my duty to help him as much as I could, to become the court judge he dreamed of being. I thought he was capable of it. It appears I was mistaken, unfortunately. What a pity he didn't come and speak to me. What a waste. What are your plans now? What do you mean? For the conference. After the disappearances of both Elizabeth Adams and my mother, and now the death of Mr. Perlou, I should imagine that your guests are all packing their bags. This might come as a bit of a shock to you, perhaps because it was so difficult to bring all these figures together, but I am convinced that none of them is preparing to leave. Are you serious? They are all very experienced politicians. And though they are, of course, affected by the situation, they know full well that such an opportunity will not come again for a long, long time, if ever. They each represent their nation, and know full well that what is at stake here is far greater than the death of poor Monsieur Peru. You'll see. I am confident that they will all be ready to resume the conference. If you say so, Allow me to take my leave, please. Of course. You ought to get some rest. Oh, Louis! Uh, one more thing, please. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. This major project needs men like you, Louis. I am flattered, my lord, but I don't know what could possibly make me change my mind. Please, don't refuse me my last hope. Don't mix hope with illusion, my lord. Hmm. And you, illusion with strategy, my friend. You win. I'll let you have the last word. 
I'll see you later, my lord. You good day. Пиром застрелился. Impossible to tell with you people. Yes, sir. Your yes is not sufficient. Tell the others for crying out loud. Remember to close my window once you've done my room. This isn't Corsica, you know. I'm freezing. Of course, sir. I'll see to it straight away. Good. Proceed. Yes, sir. А что там можно было узнать с Бонапарта? Monsieur Bonaparte. Sorry, Dorishi. I have no time for traitors such as yourself. I beg your pardon? If you are here, it's because Lord Mortimer agreed to include you. And what's the first thing that you do? You betray him by following Sir Gregory and bending over backwards to turn Washington against him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was free to vote as I pleased. I didn't realize I had to vote for Lord Mortimer in order to show my gratitude toward him. Hey, he invited me here to come and look for my missing mother during his high society party. I'm sorry, truly sorry. I don't know all your customs yet. It's just common decency that when invited to a man's castle, you don't go and to pee on his boots. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. I am sorry, sir. But you are unable to access Monsieur Peru's room while we gather his personal effects. No answer. Nothing. Emily? Emily, are you there? Emily? Yes. Louis, is that you? Yes, let me in. I... I'm sorry, Louis. I don't feel very well. I'll see you later. Are you sure everything's all right? Are you still there? Sorry, sir, but you are unable to access Monsieur Peru's room while we gather his personal effects. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Monsieur Dorichi, I have no time. I was about to join Sir Gregory. Come back later. 
I wanted to talk to you a moment and I am expected. I'm sorry. We shall talk later. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Awesome. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. I do believe that's Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. I can't open it. It must be blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in. Quick. I have to get inside Emily's room through the... Shit! It's locked. Damn it! It's closed. Seems like the key is still in the lock on the other side. That means I won't be able to pick it. Or I could do as I did the last time in the tower room. Slowly, Louis. Nice and slow. Must act fast. А, то есть следы еще нужно было оставить. Hmm. It's as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened to me. That's how it works, and you know it full well. I'm not that naive. I know you inside out. Stop. We'll end up losing everything if you keep on. A letter from William Pitt. The younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. 
Madam, thank you for... What on earth is... You... Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk. After everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope. Right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to- Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I- What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You prissy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then! Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma! Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I- That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait. I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... Короче, в прошлый раз я все вопросы этой задавал спереди. И та, которая сзади, ее застрелила. Поэтому будем спрашивать ту, которая сзади. Кто был с нами, она рассказала. Кем я представился, она могла тоже рассказать. Что мне дали, тоже могла рассказать. Что с вами случилось? Может быть, и не рассказала. Скажем об этом. On the wharf, something happened to me. What happened exactly? You felt unwell. You had a nosebleed. And I offered you my handkerchief. I told her all that already. It was me who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer welcomed us in a certain way. What happened exactly? Well played, Louis. Unfortunately, I'm not the one you should have asked that question to. Mortimer did not welcome us. It was Sir Gregory who welcomed us that night. Mortimer didn't show up until two days later. I know that as well. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Насчет этого могла она не сказать. Разговаривали точно, виделись точно. А насчет этого могла не сказать. Посмотрим. Before going to bed, I went through your room. Do you remember? How can I forget? Of course, I told you. For reasons that only concern yourself, you found it appropriate to stop and watch me sleeping in a state of undress. I hope the show was worth it. And I rid you of the desire to renew the experience when, on your way back, I met you with a blade to your throat. Never without first being invited. I already told her, Louis. 
Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What relics did we find? Property deeds in Mortimer's name dating from very long ago. Is that all? You mean all those mythological charms? So there was the so-called Pandora's box that wasn't a box actually. The famous golden fleece that reeked of dead goat. A broken sword that could have belonged to anyone. Is that enough? Yes, that's enough. You look captivated. Of course, he bought it. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Last night, when you came to my room, what exactly did you expect from me? Exactly what happened. I was hoping you would share your bed with me. What? Which I did. And it was delicious, sir. What do you mean, it was delicious? You little slut. What did you do? Believe it or not, Louis, out of fear of her jealousy, I didn't tell Emma that we spent last night together. I hate you! That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. Emily. No, Louis! She is manipulating you! No, Emma. It's her. I know it. Despite all the trouble you've gone to to put one over on me, I know it is her. That's enough now, Emma. You little slut! Don't think you are going to get away with this so easily. You are going to stop your little game right now. Never! I am Duchess Hills. No! Emily? I... I'm the Duchess. But... You don't! I... Dear God, what have I done? See what you've done! See? Louis? Mother! What on earth is... Go away! You must go. Everyone is going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Come on, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily, 
Madam, I am coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her. Please, go. I'll cover you. God, they're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room. She isn't answering. Gentlemen. Go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Water will give me a little reprieve. <laughs> 